when designing a new system, you may be forced to decide whether or not you're using 5 or 24 volts for your logic, your sensors, your feedback, or other devices connected to your controls. I'm Corey Foster of Vaven Corporation. Let's see what we can learn. If you have any questions or want to reach out to us, reach out to us here at this email address, automation support at valen.com. Reach out to us at the motioncontrolshow.com. We're happy to help. So here is a controller on the right and some device. Uh, it could be a sensor or some other device that has an output. You can see here that this device has a voltage and it ranges from 5 to 24 volts goes into the PLC, the PLC, the controller here, sinks it to ground. Well, what happens if this device here actually pulls it to ground? So you can see this device is pulling it to ground here. This particular controller has an input pull-up, so it has 5 volts on board, so it pulls it up to 5 volts, uh, but this could also be pulled up to an external 24 volts to make this a 24 volt uh, input here for this output. Now, 5 volts is older. A lot of older products ran on that, but 24 volts is definitely the newer way that the world is going. Uh, why is that? Well, if you look here, 5 volts, uh, if you have electrical noise, a 5 volt electrical spike, for example, it can cause an extra count here, if you have a square wave, for example. Or here, this one could actually take away this square wave. And so electrical noise can be a problem. Well, if you have that same voltage, uh, spike on the 24 volt signal, it's not nearly going to cause a problem because this is only 5 volts out of this 24 volts. So 24 volts is definitely more electrical noise prone. Um, but here if you look at this system, here we've got a PLC with some FETs going out in a pulse in direction or clockwise counterclockwise out to a motor driver. These are 24 volt signals. Well what happens if this same PLC is going to be used with a drive that takes 5 volts. Well, some drives will allow you to put in resistors in order to cut that 24 volts down and to control the current. However, as we saw in a previous episode, a lot of drives are differential and you can't just make those changes with resistors. And so the compatibility of 5 volts versus 24 volts is something you should look at beforehand. And a lot of products, sensors, uh, feedback devices will have options and whether or not what uh, what voltage you're going to use. I hope this helps. I'm Corey Foster of Alien Corporation. Again, reach out to us at this email address here, this website. We're always happy to help.